Amin, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah, ki rabbil alamin. Allah may you send your perfect peace and blessings and love and all goodness and light upon our blessed master Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the axis of this universe, and upon his blessed family, his noble wives, his uh, amazing companions and um, successors, and upon all the lineage of prophets and messengers and mothers sent from your heart, O oh Allah, into the, the, the heart of humanity to guide us and uplift us, uh, refine us, ennoble us, O oh Allah, to return us to you in the most beautiful way. Uh, blessings upon them all. May, may that an, great assembly of human beings, of true human beings. And may the, the prophetic reality uh, within each of our hearts, may that prophetic reality be um, awakened and, and illumined by their, their presence and, and by their call to us, by their wise teachings, by their reminders, by uh, the holy books that they have brought to us and by the the blessed lives that they have lived in, whether in uh, in in a cave on a mountain uh in the uh, by the ocean uh in community uh at times of retreat uh, they they are always these um poles of uh transmission into into our hearts, into our bodies, uh, healing our bodies by healing our hearts, uh, uh, purifying our minds, balancing our minds, uh, being uh, open space and fertile ground there for their transmission, for teachings. Amin, 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 alhamdulillah. In, I mean, and may we awaken to what it truly means to be human. May the human, which is truly the, the, the face of the divine, the manifestation of the divine, this is what it means to be truly human in, in all levels and um, to, to guide it, Ya Rashid, to be truly alive on all levels, Ya Hai. Uh, to awaken, that our cells be uh, awake, our, our hearts awake, our minds awake. And um, even when sleeping, may, may we sleep the sleep of those who are awake and that uh, we are never absent from our, our beloved. We are always present. Amin, 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 alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, blessings to everyone in this creation on this magnificent day, which is the eve of the Rabbil Awel, the month of our beloved prophet, the month of his birth. And um, it, it's recorded, and some, I, I think maybe there might be differences, but we were given by Sheikh Musafir the date of his birth as uh, the 12th of Rabi'il Awel, which comes next Tuesday, I think, or either maybe Tuesday evening. So I opened the Quran today, and this is what came. And let's see the, the surah, surah 17, which... Um, just to be sure, it is Bani Israel, yes, which has that beautiful beginning, which I will read um, also. Glory to the one who took his servant for a journey by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque, whose precincts we blessed, in order that we might show him some of our signs for he is the one who hears and sees. It's interesting, as I read it just now, uh, the he, although it's capitalized in Quran, I, it just suddenly struck me that it's, it's the prof, prophet, it's the prophetic soul also who hears and sees, because the Lord of the universe 
uh, says, I've taken my servant to show him my signs. And so, of course, you have to hear and see to receive them. So um, the Sami and, and Basir might, might also refer to, to the Prophet himself and to us, as we know that the all the divine names belonging to, to Allah also uh, belong to us. I mean, maybe belong is might be the wrong word, but they manifest in us. We have it said, and this is confirmed by Ibn Arabi. It's sometimes surprising, maybe uh, takes a while to to understand it, but all the divine names are in every human being. And what makes the difference is how they manifest. Um, so... Uh, you know, and and we know even in our own life, it's almost like a a water wheel of of that. So there's the ocean, a water wheel on the ocean, and which names come forth uh, visibly. Of course, they're all um, active simultaneously. Otherwise, we we wouldn't be alive in this universe. But some of them come to the fore and seem to take precedence at at certain moments. But those moments are, are minute sometimes imperceptible to us. So, um, but where I did open is um, this ayat. Yet, so so we see, I just want to go back to that first ayat in Bane Israel, uh, that the, the abundance, the mm, generosity of, of Allah in, in taking Allah's servant and and showing the signs. In other words, revealing some. It says some of the signs, revealing uh, aspects of of truth and revealing aspects of of love and mercy and embracing uh, the prophet in mercy. So, what immense generosity and love uh, is 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 uh, recounted there, and yet where I open. It says, yet, and this is uh, ayat 83, so later, yet when we bestow our favors on the on humanity, this one turns away and becomes remote on their side instead of coming. So how amazing. And when evil seizes them, they give themselves up to despair. So... Uh, despite Allah's generosity, or almost because of it, we we fall asleep, we become numb to the 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 constant flow of gifts, and and turn away. So this is the big error on on the part of humanity, on each of our parts is our, our turning away from Allah, uh, turning to what we think of as ourself our own interests, or when we become distracted. And distraction is one of the more subtle forms that the um, the rebel has of pulling us away from our beloved through distractions, through entertainments, uh, things that would be delightful, but either they're indulged in too much or they're too, or they're superficial and they lead nowhere because true delight is Allah's delight. So true delight is the delight that is deep in the heart, that, and that's the paradisic delight. And that is shared, you might say, with our, our Lord, our Rabb. But um, the, the distractions, which are more the distractions of the mind, which is more like obsessions, which is more like you know, almost when you have an itch, that kind of satis satisfying that, that kind of distraction of the weight, because to be alive is weighty. It's not, it's not something easy to be truly alive, to be in this world. And, and you know, there are enough stories about angels uh, criticizing humanity, and then Allah puts them in human form with all of the human constitution and they go completely berserk. They, they lose their way. And so they come back. I mean, this is recounted in, in Quran uh, and they come back and they are repentant. They realize, no, 
it's not an easy thing to be a human being in creation. So, um, but in order to, you know, instead of turning to Allah with our burden of life, uh, we turn away and distract ourselves and, and figure things out on our own. So, um, so that's an era. And, and we're easily lured into that era. Society has so many distractions uh, that, um, you know, it's, it's bewildering. And then it's like a, a thicket almost to, you know, if you don't have the guidance, the prophetic guidance, then um, we, we can get completely lost. And even those avenues that look Oh, it, like a little path that looks, oh, might give something or be something more. And then it and they just peters out and goes back into the thicket. Humanity needs, we need the guidance. And of Rasulullah, peace be upon him, in this time, also to be able to solve um, some of the great human problems. So... This is to to bring us to that place to say to really truly um, feel we are learning we are open we are receptive to their teaching and and to his teaching and to the teaching of the peers and the great sheikhs because they uh, transmit his teaching in uh, sometimes in in you know a form that uh, we can understand better. It's actually an, more, more like an oral form because really teaching is transmitted orally. It's not transmitted through books, if you think, even though it's recorded in books and a teacher might refer to books, learn from books, but when it comes out of the teacher, it becomes an oral tradition again. It becomes a human embodied tradition. This is how we, we learn. This is how we uh, we grow and develop and how we are kept safe and protected. So these are these Sufi communities, other paths, other sacred traditions uh, have their communities. And um, and this is how the, the knowledge remains in the world and as a, a reservoir as a, of, uh, of life, spiritual life. This is our spiritual life. Just like if we had a reservoir of you know, uh, milk and, and 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 animal meat and vegetables, fruits, and that's the reservoir, the cultivated agriculture and all those holy, holy um, functions that keeps our bodies alive. And so the spiritual teachings are these reservoirs of knowledge and, um, and, and light. So, um, you know, we have energy reservoirs, like all, all the different energy we're considering today, whether it's oil, whether it's wind, whether it's solar, it was coal. I mean, all of those things, that's that own specific domain. But the spiritual reservoir is truly what keeps the creation uh, wholesome and in place and, and intact and alive. Because if this diminishes, then all of that will go. This is the central pillar, is the spiritual teaching and transmission from generation, of, uh, heart to heart, generation to generation. So, um, you know, this is part of the reason why we, we honor our, our, our prophets, our, what we would call spiritual ancestors, or, because um, they are really keeping us alive. And, and and feeding us in the in the essential way. And um, so how beautiful that we're coming into the the birth in 12 days uh, of, of our prophet, peace be upon him, the beloved Muhammad, peace be upon him, the vessel of Quran, peace be upon him. Alhamdulillah. So um, again, I, I I like to say that you know, some our contemporary world is not necessarily uh, open to the idea of uh, putting someone valuing a human being uh, 
above above us above you know uh, the the the, the umat. and um although we have fascination with people personalities rock stars sometimes leaders of nations or you know we'll give them a certain um admiration or fascination we might be fascinated but to truly honor a a prophet a prophetic mother you you have to almost you have to really cultivate selflessness you it, that's when you know the heart recognizes the truth and so the heart says this this one is true and that's the that's when we kind of give our self up and um and so in our western society it it can seem a little strange to have that veneration although we you know the beloved jesus is very much here but as we know uh sometimes we we have separated off our, our secular mind sees the sometimes the lovers of jesus as you know extremists or just overly religious or a little fanatic that that's always that's one of the the words that are used for for lovers of god you know they're fanatic they're extreme you know uh and so yes we dare be we dare that because we we are not giving ourselves to the opinion of the world <laughs> you know even though it's I, I don't want to go so far as to say we don't care because that would mean we don't care about other people. We don't care about the opinion. And uh, we dare to stand up and say, no, I love God. <laughs> I love Jesus. I love Muhammad. I love the Buddha. I love Moses. I love these beings. They are uh, the ones who keep um, keep us alive. And so um, for us to truly be able to shine with that and 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 honor in this coming month that is uh entering at, at sunset and so um let's just have our moment of um of silence amen alhamdulillah 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 so, mm. Sheikh Noor, I, I think this was um, very much an, 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 um, one of Sheikh Noor's tests because he, he was born, I think he called it a secular humanitarian family or, I mean, maybe God was mentioned, but again, in being distant, um, not as one's very own life. And Sheikh Noor said that when he was told as a child that God did not exist, and I'm not sure who said that to him, um, he wept because that would be terrible. And I'm not sure whether he wept. He wept, just wept, because the statement itself was so devastating. I'm not sure... He might have wept for the person who said it or for humanity, uh, or maybe because feeling that maybe was this was this so, you know, the because it's humans who transmit the living essence of God. I mean, to us. And so if our close one says um, God doesn't exist. Uh, it's devastating. It's like the, almost the channel to God is cut off and. and it might be at that time that he um, that he turned and realized, well, I have to take this path myself. I have to find God myself. And um, as we know, his whole life was a journey to uh, to deepening in into God, into the reality, the supreme beloved reality, and through uh, uh, different paths that he uh, encountered and. Wow desire to um to manifest you know for himself and for others so um as we know in the in this tradition the islamic tradition he wrote this beautiful book over 12 ramadans 
called Atom from the Sun of Knowledge. And he took that from Sheikh Musafir's uh, saying at Juma when Effendi when he was in New York uh, in, in the original Masjid al Fada and Effendi would say, this is just a, a drop from the ocean of love and an atom from the sun of knowledge. He, he would uh, conclude with that. And then so Sheikh Noor used that for the title of his book. Um, and as we're studying now, the leap of the dervish. So Sheikh Noor is um, in a way a guide. He's a guide. So as I said, he, he, um, he experienced that encounter with the limited world at a young age and uh, but forged his way through it uh, successfully. And uh, every prophet, every saint does that. Uh, and, and the limited world can appear in, in different forms. It can appear as the limited religion or the limited family, the limited society, limited thinking. And um, so he is a, a wonderful guide into this world for all of us. Uh, how to um, how to be in uh, in the creation of God, the magnificent face of Allah, uh, which is creation, and um, and uh, and also navigate the uh, the limited world. So it, we're studying this poem, Leap of the Dervish, which is wonderful. And it is, um, you know, he, he has these, almost like ayats, actually, that describe these different states or different steps of the dervish, different realizations. And so we are on, on the fourth verse, in which he says, the dervish is a holy sacrifice who trembles in every cell, in every pore of the skin, a sacred offering to divine love, melting irresistibly into pure presence. The dervish is a holy sacrifice, who trembles in every cell, in every pore of the skin, a sacred offering to divine love, melting irresistibly into pure presence. Alhamdulillah. So uh, I did send a, a letter out um, mentioning the, the the difference between or the 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 step or the leap between the first verse where Noor says um, making where the dervish makes every sacrifice to complete the steep path, and this where Noor points out we're already that sacrifice. You know, so in a sense, that's that's a it's of course a, a much much deeper stage, where um, you don't have to necessarily you know follow and offer and sacrifice just to know. This is where knowledge is so important. We already are that sacrifice. We are the beloved. It says we're the the a, a bride. Um, promised, the mystic bride. We are the mystic bride's promise to the Supreme Beloved. And as such, we are the sacrifice. What does that mean, sacrifice, in that sense? It's not like, uh, uh, you know, what we might think of normally. It just means that um, we're sacrificed to this world, that we are the offering. We are the, the jewel given to the beloved and the beloved dwells within us and so how can we be of the world or of worldliness are the the bride and the gift and the sacrifice to the beloved so sacrifice there is meaning we're already given we're we're uh it's a very 
it's it's almost like um it's a very beautiful it's almost like the walking the the thread of the knife the the face of the knife we of course we're in the world of course we we see the world but the world passes every moment every instant this world is passing uh it's just and you know scientifically now we see that all of these are, are atoms and moving at very high speeds and all of these atoms together form the universe and form everything we see, form our own bodies. Atoms of, and then you could say energy forms, and then you get even deeper and it's it's light. It's, it's the vibration of light. So this is the light within light. This is this universe. So we can't really rest here. So this is the sacrifice that in a sense, it's this, um, parturition, this this birth or this separation. It's the cutting of the umbilical cord uh, with this beautiful setting of light and going back to our essence, to our origin, to our the heart of the beloved. This is truly what we are. So to um to know that 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 is what we already are, a sacred offering to divine love. And offering because, in a sense, you could say Allah sends us out to, to separate, to be born, to take on the appearance of separation. And, you know, you can say that's the offering. So we're not offered, we're offered both ways. <laughs> Allah manifests outwardly. And there we are. And we going through a sense of separation, bewilderment, despair. And then we catch the golden thread of the, or the drink the milk or smell the fragrance of the rose. And we, we start to come back. And then we come back. And then uh, we leave that place of separation and come back to who we truly are into pure presence as presence. So, uh, alhamdulillah, and with that beautiful um, verse of Noor uh, r- resonating in, in my heart, I open today to a hadith to, for today's Juma, and this is what comes. And this is from Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the pearl of the universe. O Lord, I have surrendered myself and submitted my will to you. I have surrendered myself and submitted my will to you. Alhamdulillah. So there it is. There is the the tradition, the thread that links Sheikh Noor's, um, you know, outpouring of, of divine light from his heart 1,400 plus years later to the um, the origin in, on the prophet's tongue, uh, O Lord, I have surrendered myself. So this is the sacrifice. Do it willingly, intentionally, even though it's already done. <laughs> so, but we assent to it. Uh, we agree to it. We desire it. We desire to be given to God and to know that we are given to God and submit my will to you. And it's Amri. Um, Let's see if I can read it in Arabic. I went over it with Ali, but Allahumma, Allahumma, that's such a beautiful phrase. Allahumma inni aslamtu. I have surrendered myself to you. Aslamtu alayka. Allahumma inni aslamtu nafsi alayka. I have surrendered aslamtu nafsi, my, myself, my soul, my being, alayka, to you. Wa, wa, and, and, and this, wa, fawamtu or fawaztu, wa fawaztu, Emri Eleka and 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 um and submitted my 
amri, my uh, will, or it can be also affairs. Amr is also used as all my affairs, my life, basically, uh, to you. So this is the essence of our path. This is the essence of our path. The love, uh, which is inspired by uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which is inspired by Buddha, by Moses, by Maryam, by Isa. Uh, they inspire the love. They open that treasure chest of our heart. But it's often through one of their representatives, uh, you know. And then we go back to them, and then we realize they come from the boundless ocean of love, uh, which is the beloved. And, um, but this surrender, this realization that we are that holy sacrifice, and it makes the path simpler. It makes it much simpler just to, if we keep that in our, in our awareness that we're already given, we're already not of this dunya world. We're, we're, we're of Allah, yes. We're of the source of light. That's our true place all the time, whether we realize it or not. That's truly where we are all the time. We've never separated. We've never come into a separate. It, it, the, the veils of light, you know, have, as it says, some, some saints have said that, the veils of light are so intense that we can't see <laughs> who it is. We can't see God because the veils of light are so brilliant. So in a sense, we're sort of blinded by um, creation. And um, alhamdulillah, our true place is in the heart of the beloved. So may, may we hold that in our consciousness and live that way. Inshallah, a beautiful life and, and dedicated life and life that is already sacrificed. We have already died. Nor would love to say, you've already died in Allah. Alhamdulillah. To the secret heart of our lineage of peers and prophets and mothers, Bisuri, Janabi, Hazreti, Pir, Al-Fatiha, Allahumma, Sayyana, Sayyidina Muhammad, Walidi Sayyidina Muhammad, Wasabi, Wasallam, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbin Animin, Rahman Irahim, Maniki Omidin, Iyak and Abudu, Wayak and Astain, Ikdina Sarat and Mustakim, Sarat and Kaira Magdubi Alehim, Waledo Amin, Amin. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, O oh, beloved, O oh, one from whom we are, one from whom we always are with, one, one who is always giving us, feeding us, keeping us alive, giving us, giving your life to us, O oh, Allah. And may we, may our hearts uh, not only feel immense gratitude, may, may we feel passionate love. Uh, for uh, for you, for you are our very essence, our very core, uh, and and may we have that love that um, shines from the the great lovers of love. Oh Allah, please give us that love to our hearts, and 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 make us of of beautiful minds. Grant us beautiful minds, O oh Allah, that. Um, that can decipher the the riddles of of life, and uh, in order to help others, in order to help ourselves, and uh, illumine the way. Oh Allah, may may we be the peaceful warriors of love. May we be the uh, passionate. Uh, may we be the passionate, detached ones uh, from the world, because we know that our true place and essence is always in the beloved and that the world is like a, a beautiful uh, banquet table or a beautiful uh, display that our beloved uh, gives us from to delight us Allah says I have created the world to uh, I created you for my delight and I have created 
uh, creation brought forth creation for your delight, Allah, but may, may it never be a veil uh, to, uh, to your delight and our delight in your delight, our delight in your delight in us, O oh Allah. May we have that intimacy of love in you. May that be our true nourishment, our true joy, uh, and that we are your holy sacrifices, that we are uh, your brides, that we are already given, that we have already been given in pre-eternity, the moment we were created, O oh Allah. May we know our true self and know our Lord. Amin, amin, amin. To the secret heart of our peers, blessings on Effendi, blessings on Noor, blessings on our peer, Nuruddin Jarahi, his mother, Amina Taslima of Jarahi, blessings on all the saints and sages who inspire us and the prophets, blessing on Rasulullah and the mothers of prophecy to the secret heart of our peers. Afatiya, Allahumma, Sayyana, Sayyana Muhammad, Walani, Sayyana Muhammad, Wasabi, Wasalam, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbin Alimin, Rahman Rahim, Maniki Omidin, Iyak and Abudu, Wayak and Astain, Ikdina Sarata Mustakim, Sarata Nidina Namta Nahim, Qayrul Makdubi alayhim wa la dhalim. Amin. Laila hai imma. Huuu.